Now that we understand the background upon which all of this is going to sit in front of, now we can start to really talk about Snap to Grid and why I believe it is the heartbeat of the program. There are a lot of other details to add on to the conversation, but for now, understand that we want to use Snap to Grid when we are moving regions with the trackpad or the mouse. So every time you want to utilize Snap to Grid, you want to think of moving regions, moving MIDI events, creating marquee selections, creating cycle regions. This is something that you want to access whenever you need to make a precise decision inside of Logic Pro. You have a secondary option that is called Nudge. Before we get to it, let me show you where Snap to Grid can be found inside of the local menu bar up here. And you can see that I have these set to key commands. Some people ask me why I don't use the other options. And that's simply because I believe these are best utilized when working strictly with film because I mostly work just with music, music tracks. This is why I tend to lean inside of this workflow. I also think it's the simplest. Now, of course, if you do need a secondary option, you can use the other options. But for now, in this methodology, I would love for you to use bar, beat, division, and ticks. Sometimes, if it becomes necessary, I will give you one other option, and we will talk about these other options at a later date. So let's talk about nudge. What is the difference between snap to grid and nudge? Well, we know with snap to grid that when we are either creating a cycle range, creating a marquee selection, resizing a region, whatever it may be, we're using the mouse or trackpad. When utilizing nudge value, we are still moving a region, but we are no longer considering the mouse or trackpad. We are using a key command. And so that's the main difference here. Inside of the key command window, you can see that I have this set to option left and option right. So it's pretty simple. You select the region, you select the event, and then you hit the appropriate key command to utilize nudge. So let's see what this looks and feels like. Here I have a drummer region. You can see my snap to grid is set to bar, but I'm not going to utilize the trackpad or mouse. In this scenario, I'm gonna hit control option command T. That's gonna open up the toolbar. You can also hit this icon on the top left here and that will also set you up. The nudge value can be determined here. You can also set up key commands to allow you to make these changes instantaneously. The way that I have this set up, I can change snap to grid and nudge simultaneously merely by reaching for those appropriate key commands. I do have a YouTube video on that. You can check that out. But for now, you can see that I have this set to nudge. And while the region is in key focus, I can hit the right arrow here, or I can hit the appropriate key command, in this case, option right arrow key. And that now moves to bar two, bar three, bar four, and bar five. Let me hit command Z to undo that. Nudge is really going to be helpful when working inside of the piano roll. We no longer have to move anything just by means of the mouse. We can make sure the regions are in focus. Again, you can hit command A, create a lasso selection if that works for you and then select the appropriate nudge, either manually or by way of key command. And now you can start moving these over in a very precise and technical way. I do want to encourage you to mostly use nudge for, for just moving regions or events. But I also want to point out that if you go to the key command window, there is a lot more that you can do with nudge. So look into this when you are ready. I'll give you an example. Here I have 
the key command nudge region event length by the nudge value. And so I have this set up as option shift right arrow key. So previously you saw me move these events. This time I'm actually going to resize them by hitting shift option right arrow key. And so there's a lot of power here if you take the time and energy to learn this system. If we talk about the region itself, not the events, but the region, what I can do here is resize the MIDI region in this way. So there's a lot you can do here. I highly encourage you to look into this workflow that we have developed here at Resources for the Modern Creative. I want you to spend a good amount of time developing this system. So let me sub this up. The applications for Snap and Nudge work like this. Select the region, the MIDI event, it's gonna be audio, MIDI, drummer, pattern. Either use Snap by using the mouse or trackpad. You can then move those in a very precise way. On top of that, you can go a little bit deeper into the piano roll, look at the MIDI event, and move those around with the mouse or trackpad. If you want to have a secondary option, you then use nudge to move these values around as well. We know that we can also resize by utilizing snap and or nudge. A workflow that I want you to begin to develop and I want you to harness looks something like this. You have a track, you record whatever the part is, You double click on the region. You want to make sure you hit Command A. You hit Q to quantize. I call this the quantize MIDI workflow. Let's say all of this is on the grid. And then now I hit Command A to select all of these various MIDI events. And then I nudge them over. If perhaps one of these was off, I can select that specific MIDI event and then nudge that over. I don't have to use my mouse all the time. If you use this in combination, this is a very, very effective methodology that can vastly improve everything that you do within Logic Pro. Start to study and learn the ways of snap to grid. Start to implement nudge value in terms of moving regions, but also resizing regions and events. And I believe it will make all the difference in the world. Okay, I'm signing off. I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to put in the work.